A very important concept in the field of geography is the coastal uh, issues. Now, when we talk about coast, harbor is one of the most integrate part of it. In this lecture, what we would understand is difference between a harbor, port, terminal, berth, dock, jetties and quays. So, uh, if a coastal country is there, definitely it would have harbors. Those harbors would have many ports. The ports would have terminals and these terminals would have berths and quays. So, let's understand these one by one. So, what is harbor? Whenever there is a coastal area, this area is filled with water and is sheltered. Now, this sheltered area could be either naturally sheltered or it could be man-made. Both of these could be resultant into harbors. Example of the man-made harbor, I can say Chennai port or the Chennai harbor is a good example. Chennai in India, we have Jebel Ali in UAE. As some of the example, natural harbors to site, uh, San Francisco uh, in United States, New York in United States are good example of natural harbors. Now these harbors, they create a protective area where the ships can enter. The most important thing is in a harbor, the depth should be sufficient. So even the big ships do not actually touch the bottom of the waters and they can float easily. So harbors have to be deep. Only in the coastline where deep waters are seen, harbors can be created. One of the important harbor, as you can see in this picture, is the Sadhana Bay. And this is actually a harbor which was discovered in 1601, considered as one of the largest and the oldest harbors and can accommodate a vessel which has a depth up to 21.5 meters. The next to it is port. Now this is a oil port. Now what is a port? Port is a harbor which is specifically used for commerce or trade but for a specific thing, right? So when I say for a specific thing, it could be iron, it could be oil, it can be grain, even passengers, no matter what, right? So if I say Mexico, uh, Putayama, Putamaya is an example for passenger port. Similarly, for grains, we have New Orleans in the United States. For oil, we have the one which we have the figure here. So Rastanura is a good example for a port which deals with oil. For iron, we have Port Headland in Australia as one of the examples. Now, port is an area where water and land meets. Now, when water and land meets, there is uh, this uh, area where commerce and trade can take place. Also along the rivers, be it Mississippi, Missouri, Yangtze, we do have ports located close to them. The next is terminal. Now, a major difference between port and terminal lies in the fact that port actually deals with a specific commodity. Terminal deals with a wide range, right? So, when I was talking about port, I said only grains, passengers, oil. But when I talk about terminal, I would say oil and gas. It can be a Roro terminal. An example of Roro terminal is given here, Ulsan in South Korea. Then you have container terminals, bulk cargo. Now when I say bulk cargo, it includes numerous cargoes that could come on and off the ship, right? So terminal is a place where you have a lot of trade and commerce with a variety of activities, onboarding and offboarding. And sometimes these ports are also called as dry ports. Why dry ports? Dry ports are because they are under the control of the main port authority and the um, terminal operator. So they are under the control of port authority and terminal operator and called as dry port. The next is birth and quiz. Now what is birth? Each of the port has specific sections. So the ship would come here in this region, right? It would offload, onload the cargo and the stuff. 
and this is what is birth the the region surrounding it is what is known as quays so birth and quays again they are part of the terminal itself uh, one container terminal can have up to 6 8 9 10 berths and quays so with every berth you would have a quay and the quay is the surrounding area to it the berth is actually the region where the offload and the onload takes place uh, handling of the cargo the coverage shields the uh, the sheds and the storage areas are all part of the berth now the next is pier and jetty when we talk about large ships we talked about ports terminals but when, what if the boats are small so these small boats are placed something like this these could be for private recreational purposes saint petty pier in russia is an example of a pier or a jetty where you have numerous small boats aligned and these could be personal boats individuals could hold those and they are parked in an area so it's it's in simple terms a parking area for a small boats these could be personal these could be commercial but there is no heavy loading and unloading of the things that is done this could be for recreational purposes for tourism purposes for personal purposes but that's what is a pier and a jetty i hope this lecture you are able to uh, understand the concept of harbor port terminal berth and quays and finally pier and jetty very very important the differences specifically when we talk are in terms of geography we need to understand these terms in a detailed and a comprehensive manner thanks for joining in today